The first Elysian War against Spain is going quite well, I'd say. We have pushed Spain back. We have the occupation that we are looking for over here. And now it's just a matter of waiting for Spartania to siege down Portuguese Mexico. And for our subject over here to hopefully get some sieges down over here. But uh, things are going quite well, I think. Overall, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. So what I am going to do here is take some of these light ships that I have indeed pilfered from the enemy. I'm going to say allow enemies to board and we're going to park them right there. And let's see if I can say, hey, Cucladia, you want to come on over here? Let's see if they'll use my ships, will they? It'd be cool if they did. Yeah, I kind of say Michael has expired. We're going to re-up it right now. The manpower regen is so bad. Let's see here. Is there a way to get rid of that? We really do need to get rid of that if we can. Um, is this settler heritage, right? Yeah, national manpower modifier. And wasn't it supposed to be this one that changed it? Hmm. Place in the sun. Let's see here. Invasion effort. Imperial silk coming soon. This one we just need to upgrade this um, this guy here. So let's do that. It's super affordable. And it only it only takes a little bit of time. So I'm actually going to spend some money on it. No big deal. The sooner we do that, the sooner that will unlock quite a bit of uh, some splendor. Construction time 20%. Wow, that'll be really good for getting some uh, manufacturers up off the ground eventually. And uh, base tax. So let's take a look here. We're at 29 ducats. Yeah, no chance we're going to spawn global trade. Not in this situation, at least. Oh, man, these guys are absolutely clobbering me. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Patriarch Authority. Sure. Come on, bro. Don't tase me. These guys are relentless, man. They're relentless. They just will not leave me be. And I'm losing so many men. Let's get our armies grouped up over here. Yeah, man, this is tough. So, like, if I wanted to, it'd probably be smart for us to attack these guys. Start pushing them back. I hate to do it. Let's actually be smart about this. Ah, oh, shoot, right. It's already too late. Okay. Let's get in there. They are going to reinforce. So let's flee one province away. We're going to get a repair tick there. This is not... It is scorched. Okay. So let's see here. They will be over here. So this is not a straight crossing, sadly. It's just a minus one, but it's a guaranteed minus one. So we need to take all of the empty regiments here. Well, first of all, shift consolidate. Hit B, open up that interface, switch over all the empty and or damaged regiments and get them out of there. Have them head up home, sadly. Now these guys are going to be there. Let's go down to speed four. These guys are going to be here on the 25th of November. Can we get there before that? Oh, absolutely we can. So let's see here. See if we can bait them. Yes, perfect. So some of them locked in and some of them didn't. This is all scorched. So some of these guys will be here quite a while before the other ones. Now it's still probably a loss for us, man. Yeah. They'll be there on the uh, the 15th there. Oof, we had a nice roll there. We have a morale guy. Wish we had a discipline guy instead. Yeah, I don't think this is a win for us because I think that extra morale boost they're going to get is going to be too much to overcome. Okay, we're still inflicting very heavy losses on them, but we definitely are, like, hurting for this. Infantry fire is really good. Huh. Well, we're not going to get tech, so I think we're going to have to just recruit some generals here. We have pretty good army tradition. We need to slacken these standards. We are definitely hurting for manpower. Let's actually go ahead and do it a couple more times. Yep. Look, click that again and just try to get the best generals we possibly can in the field now this seven and a half stack over here is going to slowly regen as well okay so we have pretty good generals these guys are all going to need to go on get let's get rid of you 
Right, okay. So these guys are fleeing. These guys are reinforcing. We are still beating up on navies over here. Let's have you guys switch over to the 6-4 general. Very, very good. All right. Uh, I think we get rid of you. Now, where are you at? Oh, that's a admiral. Right, what am I doing? Let's get rid of the 4-3-3. Probably the 5-2-1. There we go. So, make sure that we have the best generals available to us on these armies. Now... Scorch this province as well. Just so they can't attack us. Okay. If they want, they definitely can. Let's see if we can bait them into a fight over here. Okay. This is actually super reasonable. We're going to scorch this province here. Get down here. We're going to be there before the monthly tick. So shift consolidate before you go in. They will not reinforce by the looks of it. So this should... Oh my gosh, my morale is so dog water. Even with an, a morale advisor, man. Shoot, man. Yeah, our morale is just so bad. Even with this discipline. Even with a five, gen, five fire general. This is just so rough on us. Spartania is putting in work over here, but... It's only going to do so much. My subjects will not come over here and siege that down, sadly. Yeah, I don't think I win this battle. We're, we're definitely putting some losses on them, but... Um, all right, let's flee. Yeah, they're taking super heavy losses, but it's just... They can deal with it, and we can't, sadly, man. All right, let's get this 10 stack down here. We just have to ignore our um, colonies for a bit. And these guys are going to have, again, some time to recoup. We're going to get one one tick here with, with the, the full 100. And we are going to detach any of the, the zero stacks and the, the super damaged ones. Right. Have those guys go group up with this. These guys, is, this is like our military hospital over here. And... This is actually... I think we've pushed them back to the point where they're not going to be able to... Yeah, 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 yeah. I think... Alright, so this 5-4... You heading up into Macoma. Be there on the 21st. 24th, rather. 21st. And as long as I wait for them to lock in, I go up there. There you go, they're locked in. Perfect. This is perfect. Absolutely. Absolutely. Don't let them get more men in that army, though. So there you go. This stack should get absolutely clobbered. Yep. Look at that morale, though. The fact that they have morale means that they'll hang on until they get wiped out, though, which is good for us. So you can see here, we've lost 60,000 men, but shoot, man. They've lost a lot. A lot of men. And these guys over here are putting in the work. Oh, man. <laughs> What a war this has been, huh? The music is being weird, too. The music keeps on, like, changing. I don't know why. I wonder where that Spanish stack is. There's a nice 14 stack from Spanish Mexico. All right. We're still sinking some ships over here, as is intended. All right. There's another stack right there. These guys are just going to start advancing towards the enemies over here. I think we need to take a fort to even peace out this war anyways. No, we do not. Okay. So maybe something like this would be appropriate. Like, kind of not push it too hard. A lot of AE, but this is super, super reasonable. By the way, guys, if you have not already considered it, make sure you check out my uh, second channel, Chubert. Link in the description. And play some modded, or uh, some modded, edited content sort of stuff. EU4. But I'm planning on branching out and doing some other stuff. So if that sounds like something that appeals to you, make sure you check out, check it out, because it, it could be quite fun. Oh, nice. Spartania coming over here, beating up on these guys. And they're still at war with these guys as well. Don't forget, Quiz Quiz is in this war, kind of, sort of, in a roundabout way. Oh, they wiped them. Oh, Lord of mercy. Yep, all these colonial nations are just feeling, feeling the heat. Portugal and Spain are still on high enthusiasm. Now, as time goes on, we'll probably be more likely to peace out Genoa and Munich. Because, obviously, who gives a rip about people in Bavaria? Oldenburg. Oh, no. 
shout out um shout out geo oh hey what is this since when since freaking when all right let's put you guys on defensiveness let's get you guys up here since when was there a portuguese army up here i had literally no idea all right let's have these guys come down here this is savannah so we gotta be careful because i don't win a one-to-one -one. <laughs> we definitely don't win a one-to-one -one. i don't need you guys to attach to me but if you want to attach to this army feel free spartania yes come on in baby yes let's do it that's a win for us extra merchant of course and we cannot steer from mexico quite yet not till we see it i guess we'll transfer with you because we keep on losing our merchant from over there they're attacking my uh my transport navy over here let's have those guys grouped up over there the transport navy was actually um oh my gosh heck yeah bro we're clapping them oh that's what i'm talking about all right let's wipe them out here spartania is actually going to do that so i don't have to do anything and then we'll win this siege over here hopefully those guys do not win a 21 percent. they did not let's go this is also hills so that's a plus one for us nice little bit of a lag spike going on here and the music is just being weird what in the world how did genoa get here how in the world did genoa get a 19 stack over here I just didn't even see it, I guess. Yikes. Is that their whole army? Yeah. It's like their whole army over here. That's a loss. They're going to get right onto Elysia right now. Yeah. This fort is what's protecting them from getting onto Elysia. Yep. Sadly. Okay. Give them a couple more days. Make sure they're taking a few extra losses here be there on the 28th oh yeah okay let's get out of there feels bad they still take losses but mm, that's a tough one i didn't even see them up there that's my fault actually no what are you doing spartania are you are you joking you freaking jerks you absolute jerks hold on a minute yeah let me occupy that what the heck dude don't i need that for a mission owns a province down here so if i take this province and dev it up we'll be able to get the elysian silk there you guys are dumb you guys are so dumb all right either way <laughs> the war is going well enthusiasm is fine i guess i can't do anything about this look at this freaking stack up here bro what in the world <laughs> so genoa is actually on medium now so that's good we're going to have to piece them out separately. That is uh, way too many men for us to deal with. Let's put you guys on defensiveness over here. Turn um, turn this one off. Save a little bit of money. It looks like money is not actually an issue for us, which is great. I'll actually even buy that up to finish it. And what does that give us, by the way? Advisor cost, tech cost, and institution spread. That is really good, actually. Okay, I'm definitely going to be upgrading that, especially considering how cheap it is. Heck yeah. All right, the Wonders of Elysium, which will give us uh, Prestige, Splendor, and 20% construction time, as well as three dev in uh, Elysia, which is great. Capital of Innovation, 50 owned provinces that have manufactories. Okay, and then Admin Tech at least 26, or Innovativeness of at least 40, and Admin of at least 23. Okay, and uh, Skya owned by us and have a furnace okay so we're not even close to that yet okay our place in the sun we're getting there we'll be able to do this eventually once we occupy this after this war after this war we will likely be able to click it actually we taking one two three four five six seven eight nine ten more than yep okay and then we're definitely taking enough over here so this is totally doable yep we just need to hold out just hold out, guys. That's all we need to do. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Maybe we weren't particular, weren't exactly ready for this, but um, you know, I didn't have a chance. I didn't have an option here. Can you guys help over here, Spartania? Please, Spartania, please, Spartania, please, please. No. <laughs> Finishing up some colonies over here. 
I uh, am going to just save the money right now. We will colonize that in a moment. This is going to be so painful. Yep, if they're not going to join us, it's not going to work. Oh my gosh. Our, our poor manpower pool, man. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. It's all exactly as intended. But we've expelled them from down here. Look at these losses. 170,000 men have died on their side compared to 65 from us. Spartania has lost a bit as well, but it's mostly been to attrition. Understandable. Okay, now these guys down here. Let's go with one more reinforcement tick. There you go. I will get you guys over here and again, detach the broken ones. There's no point in sending in empty regiments. And once we get up there, we should be able to send out an extra 3,000 men. They are just holding on, bro. What in the freaking world? All right, let's detach the busted ones that are still not reinforced. I was going to send out some more men, but it doesn't look like I'm able to. They're even force marching over here. You guys got force march unlocked? Do we have force march? How do you have force march unlocked, homie? <laughs> but luckily for us, they can't uh, they can't uh, reinforce right now, so that's good. Uh, level three treasury guy is dead. Um, do we want an inflate? Have I gotten radical reforms yet? I don't think I have. Maybe I have. I don't recall actually. All right. Again, this isn't the most efficient way of doing this. Generally, you don't you you want to leave them all un you know consolidated. Okay. And these guys. Uh, Alicia will get the local defensiveness. No, I, I don't think so, considering the fact that it is like the fort right now we need to protect. I cannot even comprehend why these guys are force marching or why they're able to force march. Again, pull back. This is good. This is okay. I can totally do this. Spartania, what are you doing, homie? <laughs> okay. And as long as this navy is down here continuing the, uh, Oh, they got rebels. Feels bad. Did they kill their armies? They did not. Okay, they're now on medium enthusiasm. Genoa, how you doing? Medium still. Okay. So let's detach you guys. Allow enemies to allow uh, ally ship to board. Let's have you guys. Let's see here. So they still have navies. Where? I do not know, but our ticking war score is continuing to go up. Let's let these guys dock up real quick. And then let's kind of you guys hunt enemy fleets. As much as I like doing it over here, it looks like the East Coast is where we're going to need to do it. Because if they're landing men up here, like, obviously that's something that needs to be handled. All right, let's come on over here. That is a 10 to 1. You always take your 10 to 1s, especially if it's against Portugal, I suppose. One tax in a province sounds good to me. And we got some separatist rebels down here. So let's get on down there and handle them. The war is basically over for the most part. We just lost the, the war goal, funnily enough. But yeah, it's uh, it's mostly over. We just need to, to wait for them to kind of wear down and be done with the war. That's essentially it. Is If they can't siege my capital back, then there's nothing to worry about, you know? Okay. Now, I really would like for my my subjects to get over and, like, use my fleet. I don't know why they're not, to be honest, but it is, it is what it is. Oh, right. We can't even take their capital because of that. All right. Is that going to still get us this one here? Where are we at? Where is this at? Our place in the sun. It requires just two more provinces. So, super reasonable. Yep, we can do this. The downside is, is that these rebels are going to move over. I may end up needing to land some men and fight the rebels, which just makes me sick to my stomach to even think about. But as long as we can defend our homeland, we're good. I wonder if Portugal would be willing to separate peace. Let's take a look here. Where are they at? Where are they at, Dole? Here we go. No, definitely not. Their relative strength of alliance or their relative war score is uh, only 10. Sadly, Norse Mead. Give us some idea cost. Very good. Let's get these guys back up here. If they want to get onto my capital. They certainly can. 
Genoa is getting there, man. Six months, and they're going to be willing to peace out. As soon as it gets to zero, they're, they're usually willing to white peace, unless they have, you know, an, a general or an, um, a, a leader that is a fierce negotiator or a... Yeah, I think it's fierce, ne fierce negotiator, if I recall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's build up our buildings as well. Make sure we are continuing to invest into our economy. Just because we're at war doesn't mean we can't be growing. Yeah, unfortunate. We're going to be getting some of our provinces occupied. Our devastation is sadly unavoidable. Luckily for us, they are on low enthusiasm now. And let's see here. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't just take this piece right now. And whatever money they're willing to give us... That is a good deal. I will happily, happily take that. Um, obviously, I don't want any of this, so I will give this all to Cacladia. We'll grant them their provinces over there. That allows us to click this Our Place in the Sun mission. A permanent CB against the overseas nations on the continent of Elysium. And a permanent claim on the Cacladian Isles region. Very good. An Elysian hegemon. We would need to be a hegemon. We're not even close to that, so it's not going to happen anytime soon. But now we can core all. The unrest shouldn't... Okay, the unrest is really bad. <laughs> let's have uh, an army come down here and handle that. And then let's have these guys head over here and handle some colonies. Which we can do for now. Make sure we are taking all the good ones and then kind of expanding up into the ones that are going to cut other people off from expanding. That That's what I'm really going for here. But not bad. How about that, huh? People are leaving our coalition now. They're like, okay. These people are these people are real. They get it. Um, Now, I suppose... Oh, yeah. Our, our manpower. Oh, shucks, man. At least we're over 300 now. That's pretty good. <laughs> if we had Miltech, that would have been a lot better on us, but it is what it is. Let the uh, devastation go down over here. Get you guys back on uh, trade power. Get our, our income is still like good. Considering the fact that we were getting beat up on, I'm okay with this. We don't need to subsidize these guys anymore either. Yeah, we don't need to do that. So let's cut that subsidies. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. Cancel subsidies. There is no colonization to be done anymore. Let's have you guys suppress rebels over here. Very good. And let's set... There you go. That is five. So then you send them to the ones that you have a colonist on. And just like that. Hopefully our manpower will recover in due time. We are now down real low on uh, Crown Land for, like, no reason. I don't know why it keeps going down. I mean, it's the conquest, but dang, man. Um, Trade power abroad... I'll just take the prestige. It's whatever. We had quite good prestige already, but... So, let's upgrade this. The advisor cost and tech cost is going to be very useful, like, immediately. Helping us catch up on mill tech is going to be very important. Let's have you guys come down here, I suppose. No, they're roughly the same. That's nine, five, nine. Okay. Let's do something like this. Do something like that. Kind of split them up. Sadly, some of our regiments have men in them. Some of them don't. We're just making the best of it here. There you go. Cool. And just like that, we got five mer uh, missionaries. Not missionaries. Five um, dudes running at the same time. We could have murked up that war. I know. I'm sure I got comments about it. I know we could have. Didn't feel like it. If I don't need to, I don't. Mercs, sap your... I would have rather spent the mill mana on uh, professionalism. I mean, yeah, it set us behind, but, you know, it is what it is. Always bet red. Always, always bet red. Heck yeah, bro. See? Lucky red. That's my boy. We can upgrade the Alexandrian library, and I will. Does it say when it will be done? 03, so it's only eight years, so super reasonable. Uh-huh. I don't care. All right. Cool. Well, I think that's a great place to call it. We definitely need to get some forts built out here on our uh, frontier. So that's going to be the next thing. 
is uh, protecting our frontier. But uh, I think that went pretty smoothly, all things considered. I mean, it was tough, but uh, we managed to make it work. We beat the number two and the number four great power in the same war. That's pretty solid. And just like that, lads, with exactly 690 very nice development, we are the number eight great power. Shouts out, Alicia. All my homies love Alicia. Guys, if you're enjoying the campaign and you want to see more, make sure you leave a like on the video. Let me know you appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about the series so far. And if you guys haven't already, join the Discord, my subreddit, my Twitter. They're all linked in the description below. And follow my second channel, Chubert. Link in the description as well. Last but not least, if you have it within your means and you want to support content you love, you can check out my Patreon linked in the description below my videos. That's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.